Hey guys, it's Salvaje. There's a lot of frequently asked questions around the boom bell in Save the World. So in this video, I'm going to be answering a lot of frequently asked questions that I've been seeing in the Save the World community when it comes down to this weapon. My supporter creator code, it's Salvaje. With that said, let's get straight into the video. We're going to be talking about the details on how to get the boom bell, the damage that it's most likely going to be doing, etc, etc. So, how do you get the boom bell? Let's talk about that in detail. Next week, we're going to be getting the 14 Days of Summer questline in the week of 625, by the way. And the 14 Days of Summer questline works very similar to the 14 Days of uh, Frost Knight questline, where every single day there's going to be a brand new quest added. So, in other words, in the week of 625, on Wednesday most likely, it's going to be day one of the 14 Days of Summer, which means that we will not be able to get the Boom Bow all the way up until July 10th. The only way to obtain the Boombo is to complete all 14 quests for the 14 Days of Summer questline also. Now, Magus, the community manager, I believe, of Fortnite Save the World, he said that the 14 Days of Summer questline will be available up until the uh, last day. So it's probably going to, you know, the questline is going to be available for 15 days. And after that, the questline is going to expire. I'm going to put a screenshot on the background so that you guys can see this comment coming in from Magist. So I absolutely recommend that you guys don't wait until the last minute or up until day 15th to do the sub 14 days of summer quest line because chances are that on the 15th day maybe the quest line might be gone. So you want to make sure that on the 14th day you do every single quest. So what if you don't want to do one quest every single day, right? What if you just want to wait for the 13th day, for example, and do, you know, the quest number one all the way up to quest 13? You are also going to be able to do that because the quests are, of course, going to stack over time. And again, the quest won't, the quest line won't disappear until the 14 days of summer quest line is uh, gone. So that's pretty much how you get the boom bow in high detail. Anyways, another thing that you should know about the Boombo is that the stats for the Boombo have already been leaked. It has a 10% base uh, critical hit chance. This is somewhat of a disappointment. Uh, this means that a uh, critical rating, critical damage build is basically going to be completely useless with this thing. Or maybe it won't be. And the reason for that is because the reload time on the Boombo is 1.2 seconds, which means that if you have a reload speed perk on the Boombo, you're going to be able to spam uh, arrows with the Boombo really, really quickly. So maybe a critical hit, uh, I mean, a critical rating, critical damage with the, with the Boombo isn't really going to be that bad. Uh, the Boombo works as a sniper rifle also, so it doesn't really have uh, any damage uh, fall off. And it wastes 0.47 durability per use. Which means that if you have a bright core boom bow, you're probably going to be able to use the boom bow for about two hours straight in save the world missions, and it's not really going to expire. So that's actually really, really important. The boom bow will also be using shotgun shells, just like in Battle Royale, and it has a base impact of 600, which means that when the boom bow is going to be somewhere around power level 130, it's going to have, I don't know, around 2000 impact. Don't quote me on my math, by the way, but that's going to be the impact of the boom bow. That's somewhat decent. There are some assault rifles, I believe, that have better impact than that, and sniper rifles that have way better impact than that as well, but whatever. It's not really going to matter. Let's talk about damage, though. The base damage of the Boombo is going to be 158. Now, I did some really, really rough math. Don't quote me on my numbers in the math, right? But I did some rough math with my friend Beacons, and we calculated that the Boombo is going to be doing around 56,000 damage to Elemental Husk, and it's going to be doing around 70,000 damage to um, Physical Husk. That's actually a really big deal. Keep in mind that we don't really know how much the splash damage if the splash damage is going to be doing any damage right but if the boom bow has impact damage as in you hit the husk and then splash damage as well that will make it really really powerful to give you guys some perspective a blaster in fortnite save the world has around 100,000 health around the 109 power level somewhere around there so that basically means that you can pretty much four shot most likely or five shot uh, level 128 blaster for example so in other words the boombo is going to be a really good single target damage explosive sniper rifle so that's really really awesome uh, for the most part do keep in mind also that the math that we made that me and my friend beacons made 
Uh, it's basically some rough math, so it might not be super accurate. And most importantly, it's not math that we made putting in the uh, perks into sort of consideration. So for example, your Boombo could probably do 100,000 damage if you have it legendary perked up. Again, it's just an estimate number, but it is something to keep in mind. That's pretty much every single thing that you need to know about the Boombo. All of the frequently asked questions, like how much damage it does, what builds. For the most part, you know, I have, you know, I've sort of done some theory crafting with the Boombo. Uh, I think a really good overall damage build is going to be really, really good with it. But if you can get the reload speed and like the draw speed of the Boombo to beat really, really quickly, a freaking crit rating crit damage build might not really be a bad idea. So. I'm definitely looking forward to this weapon, guys. It's definitely my favorite weapon in Battle Royale, except when I play solos, because, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Uh, my Boombo PTSD from uh, solos is triggering, so I'm going to end the video before I have a mental breakdown.